every time a new social media platform like Snapchat or TikTok comes out and gets popular, some of us think it will be the next big thing in marketing. But even with so many social media platforms, email marketing still has the crown. Its worldwide revenue in 2023 was $10.89 billion, and there's no sign of it slowing down. Email marketing is estimated to generate $17.9 billion by 2027. Don't you want to share? Your newsletter is a lot more than just a communicative tool between you and your customers. It's an actual money-making machine, if you know how to use it. Let us tell you how. How do newsletters make money? First, you need to understand what's the core of a newsletter. It's the email list a collection of email addresses that receive the newsletter. In many ways, an email newsletter is like a blog. You are in control of the content you make. The main difference is in the mode of delivery. For a blog, you depend on referral and search traffic. However, the email newsletter goes right into the reader's inboxes. That's the golden ticket. When you have a bunch of people who read your newsletter regularly, you can use them to generate income. There are three main ways to do this. Making it a part of the sales funnel, charging for newsletter content, making money off your audience. Now, let's look closely at the money-making strategies in each category. How to use a newsletter in your sales funnel. Think of your sales funnel as an escalator. Your newsletter can propel readers higher in your sales funnel if you link to other content like webinars, free courses, or products. Here's how. Upselling and cross-selling. You go to McDonald's or Burger King. A burger alone is $5, but the restaurant also offers deals with fries and drinks. That costs $8. If you buy fries alone, they're $3, and the drink is also the same price. So, if you buy everything individually, you pay $11. But if you get a deal, you spend $8. In most cases, what do you do? You buy the deal. That's called cross-selling. It means promoting a related product to increase the sale value. Instead of $5, you now spend $8 at the restaurant. You can apply the same to your products too. McKinsey reports that cross-selling increases sales by 20% and brings in 30% more profits. So this technique is ultimately a moneymaker. The second strategy is upselling. In upselling, you promote a more expensive version of the product the customer is already buying. For example, let's say you're selling an introductory course for $50. You can offer a deluxe version of the same course for $80. The newsletter can market the deluxe version by showing customers which extra features they'll get. Amazon does this a lot. When you're shopping for an item, they'll show you other related items that cost more. In fact, the e-commerce giant earns 35% of its revenue from cross-selling and upselling. Seasonal Promotions You can also make money using a newsletter by promoting your seasonal sales. For example, you may have a promotion for Black Friday, Labor Day, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, etc. Similarly, you can run a clearance sale on your summer stock when fall approaches, or offer discounts on holiday-themed products. Promote these markdowns with your newsletter to bring your loyal customers in. How to charge for newsletter content? Another way you can make money with the newsletter is by charging for it. However, you'll need to have a strong online presence for this one. After all, why would people pay to hear from you? Suppose you're a pro in the nutrition field. You can start a paid newsletter in which you share healthy recipes, keto plans, nutrition tips, information about supplements, etc. Keep in mind that the information in the newsletter should be enticing enough for people to pay for it. For example, you might include exclusive advice from nutrition experts or insiders in the health food industry. We're saying it shouldn't be information your audiences can find with a single Google search for free. Instead, it should be exclusive and high value. You can charge an annual or monthly subscription fee for the newsletter or offer both options. How to make money off your newsletter audience. What if you have an impressive email list, but there's nothing for you to sell? Does it all go to waste then? No. 
Just like a podcast or a blog, newsletters also get sponsorships. A company would pay you to advertise their product or service in your newsletter. Let's say your email list comprises mainly millennials. A streetwear apparel brand might be interested in advertising to that audience. They will pay you to mention their brand with a link to the website at the top or bottom of your newsletter. You can also add affiliate links to your newsletter. It's quite simple to understand how this works. You join an affiliate program, such as the Amazon Associates program. For this example, we're still assuming you have a millennials audience. Every week or month, you recommend hot and viral products to your audience. It could be something a pop culture celeb used or a product that went viral on TikTok. You get an affiliate link for this product from Amazon and add it to your newsletter. When someone uses that link to purchase the product, you get a commission. Amazon's commission rates are from 2% to 20%, so there's quite some potential to earn money this way. Or you can use another affiliate program to get better commission rates. In the world of marketing and technology, an email list is nothing less than an asset. It's a group of loyal and engaged followers who look forward to new content from you every week. So before you start cashing in on your emails, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. We got work to do.